I'm Drew Geraci and I specialize in high resolution motion control time lapse. You've probably seen my work before and not even known it. The big break for me was being able to work with David Fincher on Netflix's House of Cards. I ended up reading what's now the iconic opening sequence to House of Cards. And that for me was a mind blowing experience being able to work with him and Netflix to create something that honestly had never been done before. I started doing motion control time lapse back in 2012, really when I got out of the Navy. And I started doing it because it's something that interested me because I wanted to create something that was more cinematic and more exciting rather than just your still camera sitting on a tripod. I'm passionate about time lapse photography because I think it gives you a different perspective of the norm. You know, we see everything happening in real time and it's not until we actually slow it down and compile it and compress it that we actually see what's going on in the day-to-day -day life. And being able to see those changes of light and those changes of events happen in mere seconds is something that just really intrigues me. The scenes I shoot the most really revolve around cityscapes. And I love being on rooftops, being able to see the entire landscape of the city. And the city really comes alive when the lights come up at night. The most recent production I've been working on is at the Kennedy Center, and we've been creating all of these beautiful shots of the interiors and exteriors of these theaters, and being able to see the scene come to life as the light hits these theaters is something that's just really incredible. For me, my process for time loss photography really revolves around going into Lightroom, doing all of the color manipulation in there, and then exporting into After Effects. We take all of the sequences together and combine those single images into a video sequence, and that video sequence then becomes what now is the live action time lapse. When we talk about creating time-lapse sequences, these are really large, gigantic files that require a ton of processing and a lot of render time. And you need to have a lot of horsepower to do that. The needs for me personally when it comes to creating a system is I wanna make sure that it's fast enough and powerful enough to handle my workflow. And that would include having fast processors, fast GPUs, and fast SSDs. Some of the systems that I've worked in the past just have been super slow for render speeds. Time-lapse production itself requires a lot of processing. And when I switched over to the Dell Precision Workstation, I was able to increase those work speeds by two to three times. And that really saved me a lot of time and allowed me to go and focus in on the actual creative part rather than worrying about what the render times were. The performance of the Quadro RTX has really helped increase the performance when it comes to rendering my time-lapse sequences. There's a lot of GPU use when it comes to deflickering and denoising these images. And especially on 8K frames, it's a lot of computing power. And the RTX just did its job and was able to do one-to-one -one playback without any issues. I would definitely recommend this system to folks that are in this industry because it's something that's not only reliable, it gives you the processing power that you need and really can help save time and money in the process.